Hi there, today we are going to continue to talk about a line specifically in standard form. So as you can see, this equation right here has two variables, x and y. Um, but unfortunately, this is not in y-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So you could potentially have a little bit of a difficult time graphing it. Um, one way to graph this or graph anything really would be to create an xy table. So you could do that. You could create an xy table to get your points and then graph them. Um, or you could take this and you could change its form to put it into y-intercept form. So really just solve that thing for y. So first things first, let's subtract 3x from both sides. So you get negative 2y equals, I'm going to do a little bit of rearranging here. I'm going to put this x term first, so negative 3x, and then I have a positive 6. So our goal is to isolate y, so come through and divide everything by negative 2 you get y equals positive 3 halves x minus 3. There you are. You now have it in y-intercept form. You have a slope of positive 3 halves, and you have a y-intercept of 0, negative 3. That will be enough to graph that for you. So that is one technique there. Um, a secondary technique, if you understand that you need two points to graph a line, we can find two points without doing an xy table, without putting it in slope-intercept form, but instead finding our intercepts. To find an x-intercept, make y equal to 0. To find a y-intercept, make x equal to 0. So if we do some substituting and solving with these two different scenarios here, we're going to end up with two different points, two relatively important points, x-intercept and a y-intercept. So when I put in my y value, I get 3x minus 2 times 0 equals 6. Simplified version, 3x equals 6. Divide both sides by 3. x equals 2. Now don't forget that is a point. You have an x value and you also have a y value there. So the point would be 2 comma 0. Doing the same thing over here for my y-intercept, we will substitute x equals 0. 3 times 0 minus 2y equals 6. Negative 2y equals 6. Divide by negative 2. y equals negative 3. It is also a point. You have an x value and a y value, so the point would be 0, negative 3 an x-intercept and a y-intercept to graph the line. Now I'm going to come through and I'm going to actually graph this on one set of axes and hopefully if we have done everything correctly they will match up. So let us first start with our intercepts. I get an intercept, an x-intercept of 2, 0 and then I get a y-intercept of 0, negative 3. There you go, those are those two intercepts graphed. And then I could come through and I could make a line here. You can extend it infinitely in both directions. There you go, there's a graph of our line. Now we will check the y equals mx plus b, the slope intercept form, and hopefully that will match up and it should fall on the same thing because it is both coming from my same graph. So I will start at 0, negative 3, great, and I will rise 3 and run 2. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, perfect. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. And as you can see, those two have matched up. So you have an option of how you are going to graph this. We will do this once more with a secondary example. Let's take a look at x minus 2y equals 8. So first things first, you could take this and you could put that into a slope-intercept form, get that thing solved for y. Morning. First, I will subtract x from both sides. Negative 2y equals negative x, positive 8, divide by negative 2. y equals positive 1 half x minus 4. That would be enough information to graph that. 
Um, a secondary approach would be to find my intercepts here. So let me change my color, make a little break. X minus 2Y equals 8. So first to find the x-intercept, make y equal to 0. x minus 2 times 0 equals 8. x equals 8. The point 8, comma, 0. x is 8, y is 0. Same thing over here for the y-intercept. Make x equal to 0. 0 equals negative, excuse me, 0 minus 2y equals 8. Negative 2y equals 8. Divide both sides by negative 2. y equals negative 4. The point, 0, negative 4. So when I graph this, they should both match up. Hopefully that is the case. Slide it up a hair. There we go. So first things first, I will stick my intercepts there. 8, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 0, negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. There you go. That should be my line. Now let me take a look at my slope intercept form to see if my slope will actually fall on these two points. Start at 0, negative 4, slope of 1 half. 0, negative 4, positive slope, up 1 over 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. As you can see, I have ended up getting the same points. That is my line, the equation of my line. Here is the graphical representation. There you go. Hope that helps. You now have some options as to graphing a line when it is in standard form. If you would like to change it to slope-intercept form, feel free. Some people love to find the two intercepts there because making the value zero makes it pretty easy to deal with. Thank you very much.